and he then just got a massive new update and I'm going to show you how to make the most out of it. The first thing we have are these Google Gemini actions. Now, why do they matter? For example, before, if you wanted to, let's say, generate a video using VO3 through NADN, you needed to set up an HTTP request node that calls the API of VO3, generates a video and then retrieves the data, which wasn't really beginner friendly. Now you have this generate video node that allows you to create a video using VO3 natively inside NADN with a single click. We also have the Gemini transcriber node, which supports audio files larger than 25 megabytes, unlike the whisper transcriber by OpenAI. All these things mean that NADN is just becoming simpler and easier for beginners to use. Another important addition with this latest update is the model selector node. Your agents can now have access to multiple LLMs to choose from as their brain, and it makes testing them much easier and also running them much smoother. I just dropped a full tutorial on my YouTube channel where I show you how to set up your Gemini credentials and also how to use a different Gemini action. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out.